Hello everyone, welcome back to New England Graveyard. Please hit that subscribe button. Jason is here at the Old Winslow Burying Ground in Marshfield, Massachusetts, and I'm here with uh, someone who, uh, well, had a deal with the devil, so they say. I'm here with Daniel Webster. He was a U.S. statesman. He worked to preserve the Union in the years leading up to the Civil War and supported the Compromise of 1850. He was a member of the Senate's Great Triumvirate, along with Henry Clay and John C. Calhoun. He's believed by many to be one of the Senate's greatest orators, and he is sometimes referred to as the Great Orator. He was also the Secretary of State under, under Presidents William Henry Harrison, John Tyler, and Millard Fillmore, and was an accomplished jurist. And uh, there's also a famous story, play, what have you, called The De Devil and Daniel Webster. Very famous up here in New England. There's several Daniel Webster highways up here. Now this is just a family stone. Mr. Webster, is actually buried right here. Daniel Webster, son of what is it? Ebner? Ebenezer Webster and Caroline S. Webster. February tenth. 1810 to 1865. And we got Daniel Webster, born January 18, 1872 to 1852. And I'm sorry, I can't read this for you. The uh, writing is faded through the years. But also in here is the family. Major Ebbs, Edward Webster, who was a son. I mean, you could see, I'll do the pan around right now. He's right at the front of the cemetery in this iron gate. You cannot miss the family spread. And here's the wife of uh, Daniel Webster. It's sad that the uh, inscriptions here are all faded to time. One of the problems with using marble. Julia Webster, wife of Samuel Appleton. Appleton. Mary Constantine Appleton, born February 7th, 1848, died March 15th, 1849. That's sad. Caroline Webster, I believe that is his mother. Grace Fletcher. Yeah, a lot of these are lost to time.
go on the other side here. Ashburton Webster. Now on a previous uh, vlog, I did do the Webster that was, uh, did the Webster Dictionary, there is no relation. Colonel Fletcher Webster. And last, but certainly not least, Grace. Fletcher, daughter of Daniel. Now they also have two things up here. Daniel Webster. He belongs to the nation whose union rock ribbed. So he so largely wrought beloved son, class of 1801 of the college he loved. His defense of her independence in her Dartmouth College. Case before the Supreme Court of Chief Justice Marshall made her right to independence a constitutional cornerstone in American heritage of free institutions. Erected by the trustees of Dartmouth College, October 24th, 1952. And over here, Daniel Webster, born January 18th, 1782, died October 24th, 1852, Lord, I believe, help thou mine disbelief. Philosophical argument, especially that drawn from the vastness of the universe, in comparison with the apparent insignificance of this globe, has sometimes shaken my reason for the faith that is in me. But my heart has always assured and reassures me in that the gospel of Jesus Christ must be a divine reality. The Sermon on the Mount cannot be a mere human production. This belief enters into the very depth of my consciousness. The whole history of man pro proves it. So, that is Daniel Webster and his family. I really hope you, you enjoyed this, uh, this video of this uh, historic person who helped shape America, uh, please uh, hit that subscribe button so that uh, you can always be sure that uh, you, and ring the bell so you can always be sure that uh, you know when I post, and I will see you all on the next video. Bye.